So, hey guys, Aaron with the Disciples here and we're our newest member. And who are you and what did you do today? Uh, hi, I'm Gabriel. Uh, I won the Fox on Regional. Awesome. Uh, Alright, so yeah, let's go. Jeez, right. is that you, yeah? So, we played Trick a Light Chick because it's good, you know? Yeah. Uh, one bird and two Martin. Uh, people cut the bird. Uh, I think you need the extra name and it allows you to get like a lot of value. If you open like chick and perfume, uh, it also just like generates more Luna Light names, which is relevant. It helps you play through Nibiru as well, right? Yeah, so like yeah. one of the main things is that like there's no really good spot to Nibiru the deck, even without Azatot, mm. because uh, this just floats into anything. So if they Nibiru you, you usually like try to have this on the field, on the spot they would Nibiru, yeah. so you can play around it. Nice. And yeah, then the True Tiger, which for some reason is not at one, so yeah, we, true, we, we yeah, keep true. playing it. Such uh, an oversight. Yeah, yeah. go. And uh, the Zephyrus for the first week search. Uh, then I play Dangerous, they're still good. So one Nasty now, uh, one Bigfoot, uh, two Jackalope, two Tsuchinoku, and two Mothman. What was the Bigfoot for? So I liked having like one out for the for, like floodgates, like Vanity's Fiend for Erupt. Yeah. And like having Bigfoot allows you to have the Bigfoot and the Nest that searches it, so at least you have like some sort of okay. interaction against those kind of cards. Uh, it was really good today, like I played an Orcus guy and this was my one main deck out to win then, like I drew the Nasty, I pitched Nasty, got this, and then summoned this and attacked over the wind and then combo the main face show. Awesome. Uh, I guess like the, 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 you could play uh, like a third Mothman, it's like better going first, but this just gives you more utility. Oh. Would you play three Moth or, or two Moth, one Choop, do you think, or? Uh, I think I would play two Moth, one Choop, uh, yeah. so you don't draw multiple. Exactly, yeah. No, no, Chupacabra has been like so bad for me, yeah, but I think it's just like bias. Yeah, it, it was not good for me today either. <laughs> yeah. So the different part of the deck is the three Magician Souls and the one Apprentice Illusion Magician. Mm. Uh, this card is like mainly seen in Spiral, but it's like so sick in Luna Lights because it's a plus one if you have a tanky, because you just like get a tanky out for every hand for free. It unbreaks your perfumes, it unbreaks your trap, your serenade dance, yeah. or like extra foolish goods, or lures you don't want to activate, or double or nothing. And it's a non dark. It's a dark that's non winged beast and not beast warrior. So this is really good for the combo because it allows you to go into curious straight with like four tricks, uh, Luna Light, and it. Oh, and it's sick. just yeah, it draws your side cards as well. Right. Nice. It's a, it's dark for a lure as well, so it can banish for it. So and a lot of applications. Yeah, it's just versatile. And I played two Kaijus. <laughs> I got peer pressured into this. I didn't <laughs> want to do it. People were like, yeah, just play Kaijus. You can banish them with a lure. It never came up. Game yeah. one. So you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't play them in the main going forward? Yeah, I don't think so. Like, I was playing 40 with upstart. I cut the upstart and put the two Kaijus for 41. I think that's just bad. Yeah. <laughs> but I, oh, cutting the Kaijus allowed me to put the Evenlies in the main deck, in the, the side deck, and the Evenlies were really good, so I guess it worked out in some weird fashion. Okay. <laughs> Not because of the Kaijus, though. Yeah. Uh, and then I play Trillon Light Perfume, that's the best spell card in the deck. It's not once per turn, uh, any of the effects, it only gets better with Souls. It's so sick. It's monster, yeah, it's monster Reborn for no reason. Yeah, it's Monster Reborn, not once per turn, and um, broken. Yeah. Uh, and then 3 Tanky. Uh, this card gets better with Souls, because it allows you to pitch dead tankies, and tankies that are already activated, so it generates advantage. And it just pitches the combo piece you need. Uh, and then 3 Foolish Goods, it's basically tanky but bad. But it's three more tankies. It gets you there. And it can also send the trap, which is like nice in some scenarios. Uh, I play three allure. Uh, you can't like, play, I mean, you can play into the void, but you can only play one. And I can't play desires in this build because of the Phantom Knight stuff. Yeah. So allure gives the extra consistency, and it has a nice effect that if you banish a Lightbird Chick, your opponent can't activate anything on the battle phase. So like, it makes it so easy to double them. So like, you can just like do that, summon double, and then use the double effect on the battle phase and just attack over something. Nice. And then this shit. Uh, it's a brick. Yeah. Uh, it sucks so much to draw it on this build, but you gotta play it and it raises your ceiling so much. And the uh, Serenade Dance for the Martin Search. And then the Phantom Knight cards that make you go into the combo. So, like, these are actually the combo pieces, which is the Boots and the Magic Lounge. This is just an extender, but you have to play this because if you mill Boots and, and the, like, the Mandatory Curious mill ends up milling the Lounge, you need to play another target so you actually can have value from the Boots. So, like, even if you mill it, you usually just end like, Appaloosa and, like, Chew yeah. Rank Forest, which is usually just enough going first. Yeah. Uh, I didn't Kaliuga that much today. Like, the games that I did, I just won. But yeah. I think the main strength of the deck is not this combo, it's just, like, Luna Lights in itself. I think it helps you play through Apple Loser, right? Because you can set it as the first thing you do. Yeah. And then you can activate it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's another good point.
Uh, That's it for the main deck, 41 with two Kaiji. 41 for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the extra deck, so you play the double, which is legit like the best card because it's now an OTK piece and a combo piece for the... Yeah. Because it can summon Kaiser. Mm. So Utopia Kaiser has a weird effect. Uh, it detaches the resolution and it summons numbers from your extra deck equal to the number of materials it has. So the way you do it, you summon Big Eye with its effect. Mm. And Big Guy is a level 7 dark, and you can so then you can magic up. launch it into Kali Yuga. And Kali Yuga basically says, you can do anything, it's also Heavy Storm by the way. Yeah, dude. Uh, People so, don't know that. Yeah. yeah. And like, it's good because it, it even negates the first card they activate, because they have priority on Nathan's one, mm. because of the rules. So like, if they go like Extravagance, you can just like chain rank of magic launch, summon Kali Yuga, and to negate that Extravagance as well. Mm. So there's like, really few ways to like break after it's summoned, like you can't do much. Yeah. So this is just like an auto win button, which is nice. Uh, and then the Utopia for the double OTK. Mm -hmm. You can also summon Utopia when you do the the Kaiser combo as like an extra body. So if for some reason they like uh, they like Kaiju you, you still have the Utopia and it effects come negated so it doesn't die when someone attacks over it. It's like just a free body. Uh, I play the one Force Tricks to search the Zephyros, it's like staple Luna Lights. And the one Dugaris, it's not as needed in this build as generally, but I just like it that it can be a rank for that Peach's stuff, and it also helps to like dig for Tigers if you don't have them. It's like a better Tiger King in a way, that like you have weird level 4s but you don't have Tigers, so you just go them and pick, draw to like try to fight a Tiger. Or if you need to fight like a side card or like a Twin Twister. It's pretty good. It also has another effect that it doubles the attack of a monster. So one of the cool things you can do is like double it and double it again. Yeah, yeah. They double double. So like they have like a big monster and you can like clear their board, but like you just make double 10k and then you with Dugger is doubling it and then you double or nothing the 10k for 20k and there is no monster that's surviving through that. <laughs> uh, then the one tornado and the one weather. Uh, those are just like interrupt rank fours. This has utility against back row decks going first. It's good against Orcus because it just forces their Dang, which is the main thing you're afraid of. And Dweller is another option. You usually end on this, or IP, together with the combo, so even if they Kaiju you, you have some interaction. Uh, the Wana Palooza, uh, very important card now because of Nibiru, because you can't just ice thought anymore. So you make this so they can't like hold Nibiru until the end, they have to throw it early. Yeah. Uh, but if they throw Nibiru early, usually are fine because the deck just floats and you got advantage and you can play through it and the token makes IP, which helps. Yeah. And it's just like another interaction uh, if like they kaiju your your big guy. Because you have like the Apollos and a rank, and a rank 4, mm. so people are like, ah, the, the combo is fragile, what it is? But like, even if it gets interrupted, it usually just gets you there. Sure. Uh, the one Bohosword to kill people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Curious is the combo piece yeah. for this is how you send boots to the graveyard. It also has utility because it can just send like perfume for a search or a serenade dance for a summon. It, feature, uh, it transforms like dangers into Luna Light Engine, which is pretty good. Uh, the one Unicorn is just utility. Uh, it also plays IP, I guess. Uh, so like, if you get interrupted, you can like IP Unicorn people. Uh, and yeah, Unicorn is needed because you can deal with a lot of cards. Like this deck legit couldn't out Colossus. Oh, right. that's not a thing anymore. But like cards that can be destroyed, this deck has a hard time. Yeah. So this worked with it. And I played Wonder Woman though instead of the Nightmare Phoenix. I think this card is just better than Phoenix in this deck because it like basically generates an extra monster and it points down. Mm. Uh, it also has another effect that no one reads. Uh, when it destroys a monster by battle, you can get a Beast, Beast Water, Wing Beast from your graveyard. So one of the things that I did, like I had a Tiger in the graveyard because it was pitched by uh, Akirius, and I went there Ruma doll, attacked over his monster, got the Tiger back, then combo the main things too. It's like pretty sick. Mm. Yeah. Side deck. Yeah, and then for the side deck, uh, the third kaiju. Sure. This is for the com yeah. for spiral for the combo decks. Uh, one panker drops. And one reboot, right? One reboot because yeah. it's just one, guys. <laughs> and the uh, three twin twister for back row. Like, this is like what's hard for back row. You yeah. also have the evenly and matches. Twins good in the mirror for the Kali Yuga. You just hit the rank up and standby phase. Yeah, you just sided in for the mirror. Uh, and like, you have seven cards for back row, so you're usually fine against Geist or against Sabotage and stuff. Yeah. Another nice thing is that this deck draws so much that you're. You're gonna draw at least one of the seven, so you're not gonna lose your Floodgate. Because you have Allures, you have Magician Souls, you have the Dangers. Yeah. So that's just nice. 
Uh, and then mainly for Spyro and for Light, the three drawing lock, it's the one best hand trap, like, you can only drop one, you're dropping draw. Yeah. Uh, it's just weird that it gets called for Spyro, but if they don't have called, it's good. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I played Trini Biro, it was like bank average. I didn't do it once, I think. I said it against BA, but I didn't draw it. Okay. <laughs> and the 15th card is one Excite Knight. So this card is interesting because it allows one Kaiju to basically become an out for the whole spiral board because you Kaiju the Appaloosa and then like you summon to level force, they usually won't pop it because they're trying to hold for something mm -hmm. and then you just like overlay and check Satan and just pop their whole board. Yeah, they're not expecting it as game. Yeah, no one expects Exciton. And it's, you just side it in against Trap Decks as well. Especially like, if, if they see you siding extra card, they think it's Cowboy. Yeah, they Cowboy. always think it's Cowboy or like Starving Venom. Yeah. People just play around Super Poly when you side an extra deck card. Mm -hmm. So it's just like nice. So and yeah, that's, that's it. it. So first place, uh, Fox and Regional. Thanks guys, it's been Disciples and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.